welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the Taurus Sun Moon and Rising sign okay you Taurus you earth sign people okay you have the energy of the year, the year which is the energy of the hangman um okay the year is a water year and you begin the year 2019 with the energy the month to, um, of January with the energy of water also so we were gonna um, for before I say anything we're going to be looking to see what is it is it positive emotion or negative emotions that is going to be coming in again I, I want to say how much I love you guys welcome to a new year if this is the first time please um, subscribe and um, I'm wishing you guys a wonderful new year I love you Taurus so much and please like and share this video cross watch cross watch for the extended deal um, which is 30 minutes um, you are you can pick this up on on the mound okay so first half the two first half of the, the month the two first weeks is going to be the energy of her so you are going to be having the balancing of the zodiac energy of her and the two last week it's going to be the energy of hair so be aware of what is happening so let's see what's coming out for the Taurus Sun moon and rising sign the first week there is coming a transition and end into a situation in the month of January first week in the month of January you have an emotional so there could be a debt that is coming up in your family message of someone passing away that is coming up in your family that's what I am receiving for some of you it's going to be a transition the second one there is news of that that is going to be coming in okay but there's also news of positive um, positive things about uh, an offer of work or um, um, to, um, yeah people offering you whether to work in the network or as a group okay so let's see what else is happening okay exactly I said it <laughs> that comes up so in the second week you could be receiving um, a new offer of people asking um, to come and connect in a group I'm seeing the energy of the three books so you are going to be connecting with two other people and this is going to be a success okay so first week and second week you can see that coming out let's look at the first fourth week for you Tauruses we are seeing a number three again um, the three of one so you have accept the offer that came in and you are about to build something in your life so this is good you have received the offer that comes in and you're about to receive something in your life now what is the most beautiful thing about this reading is that you have 33 the three of Pentacles and the three of ones which is started a network connecting with people and you're moving forward and this is going to be very very positive for you Taurus so that is good because you guys are the business people okay so what is the outcomes for the Taurus <laughs> the outcomes in the fifth week is a new start so this is going to be wonderful so some of you Tauruses are about to um, um, go on a new journey um, you're about and this is going to be a very positive journey for you Tauruses for um, the people who are about to uh, join a group and connect and network so it's all about joining groups connect and network so it's going to be positive emotion for you guys okay so that is very very good it's about you going in within and seeing the truth of a situation positive energies that is coming out so the transition um, the energy of that in the first week and then and the message of a new start so that is always transiting um, so there is the energy of the nine of one so you're protected there is a transition that is about to happen but you are protected and there you can see you're protected you're ready for anything that is about to happen and this is good so um, this transition and it's not an ending it's a transition that is coming up um, the ending is if it's what as the end of the month but it's a transition something new your life is about to change this is a new year so this is going to be good the ace of ones comes up with an offer from an organization or um, an Aries or a, your ex boss but um, this offer is good that is coming in because this offer is someone asking you to connect 
um, together to make something happen and this is going to be happening okay now there's a message that is coming up you Taurus is your fleshing out um, you're gonna be victorious and this is going to be good because joining this organization or this group is going to um, bring you success it's moving you forward and in a positive positive way so you have the energy of the chariot so this is good um, the third week going in the fourth week you are going to be just moving forward the victory and success because you have the um, the you have the ascendance masters number 33 number 33 is going to be the energy vibration for you Tauruses in the month of January number 33 so and let's look and see what else is coming out for the fourth week going in the fifth week we have a judgment call okay we have a judgment call the third week going out in the fourth week there is a judgment call okay so 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 but it's gonna be a positive judgment call because it's a new start now as we look at the energy we, you are dealing with the the princess of swords whoever this person is she is an Aquarius Gemini or a Libra okay an Aquarius Gemini or Libra um, this person whoever she is she's between the ages of 18 and 45 now there is um, an offer you are um, protected and you're ready to move forward okay but the energy of an um, in, of an organization and this there is someone in this organization that is a uh, an Aquarius Gemini or Libra okay she could be your boss but it's okay you're gonna be okay to work with her now there's another energy that is coming in this is the energy of and Aries Leo or a Sagittarian now um, again it's an Aries that an offer she's going to be offering you an Aries is going to be coming in and also offering you um, a new offer okay then I'm having some heartbreaks the three of one um, you decide to, to move forward and it is going good but there comes um, an art break so that is a judgment call about this new start let's see what is the Prince of Swords and the Queen of Wands has to do with this you have a strong foundation against these two people so whoever these two ladies is um, I'm seeing sister ivory mother fa mother sister sister rivalry um, that is going on it's all about because you're building something there is some jealousy that is coming in between these two ladies be aware of this and we have the energy of the Sagittarian coming in to give you some strength and you are going to be taking on the energy of the Sagittarian because this Sagittarian lady and this is good you receive an offer for work okay and it's from a Sagittarian lady and she's going to be helping you to move you forward let's see what is going to be the outcomes for you Tauruses because it is really looking good the outcomes for you Tauruses you ladies between the ages of 18 and 45 it is going to be your month it is going to be your month you have been coming up in a lot of other decks it is going to be your month if you Taurus have a legal situation um, you are going to be freed from this legal situation whatever the legal situation that you guys was dealing with you're going to be freed from the situation you are going to be coming out good a surprise win that is going to be coming in princess of Pentacles so you Taurus is between the ages of no to 45 it's going to be a good month I'm seeing um, a connection and networking um, with a corporation it's going to be good um, and you're going to be meeting this Aries person uh, some of you is an Aries person some of you is a uh, Sagittarian okay so some of you could be um, working with this Aries person some of you could be working with the Sagittarian person okay so this is good but whatever the situation is the Sagittarian or an Aries some of you it could be your mom or your uh, sisters or connection but 
whoever this person is she could be an Aries for some of you she could be a Sagittarius for some of you but she's in the center that you have to deal with this lady and this lady is actually opening up doors of opportunities for you okay I'm seeing um, I'm seeing I'm seeing the three of swords coming up but not to wear because the three of swords is always coming up in um, the other energies um, there is loss and sometimes you have to lose something in order to understand but whatever the loss is because there's a loss and then a judgment call and then you're going to be going you're going to be moving forward on a new journey okay so it depends on what is happening so we have a transition coming in you are ready for this transition you have to deal with a situation with someone who is an Aquarian Gemini or Libra but you have a strong foundation against this person I am seeing you have to find inner strength because a loss at a car or you're going on a new journey there's some judgment call a loss as a car and you have to find inner strength to move forward but whatever this is it's going to be okay all right so again I'm calling up the angels and guides to show us the spirit the animal spirit guides to show us the two messages that is coming out for the Taurus Sun Moon Horizon um, for um, the month of um, January and we're working also with the series the, the solar system series the star seed series we're also working with their deck so we are asking them what is the message that coming out for the Taurus says Taurus's month of January the two of crystal the two of crystal now the energy of the two of crystal is one of the most beautiful energies and it's about making a decision so the two of crystal is that you guys need to make a decision about a situation okay whatever the situation is is like you have two parts to new start you need to make a, a decision because the energy is here that a decision has to be made so very wonderful very positive um, very wonderful very positive I have two cards and this is the first one um, and this is the second one so um, choose one of these cards and then you will receive so this is card one and this is card two now if you choose card one is number 19 and it is the dog spirit the loyalty to what you love the dog spirit so the decision that you have to make okay choose the decision be loyal to what you love be loyal to what you love okay 19 um, number 19 is always the energy of the Sun so be loyal to what you love okay because there is going to be offers coming in and you have to be very loyal to what you uh, love the the, the, the the work that brings you the most happiness and joy now the second card is the dear spirit bring a gentle touch the dear spirit bring a gentle touch whatever you're doing bring a gentle touch whatever it is you, you're doing bring a gentle touch in it and this is going to be bringing um, more positive situation in your life so this is just so beautiful so you have the Sun and the moon um, the Sun and the moon so just mean it's going to be very positive it's going to be connecting with yourself being very spiritual connecting with yourself this is going to be wonderful the day of spirit has been coming up in the month of January for a lot of people so um, check out the um, quarter reading and all the readings have an on-demand deal okay it's just a dollar 99 I'm gonna keep it at a dollar 99 so that everyone can afford to get their extended reading because there's a lot of information with the extended reading so I'm gonna go I'm gonna say for you guys on YouTube um, um, thank you for being here and I'm wishing you a wonderful month of January okay I'm gonna be wishing you a wonderful month of January and we're moving on to on the bond okay so ladies and gentlemen welcome to another wonderful year this is the month of January this is the on the bond Dale let's see 
what's gonna happen what's happening what is happening what I should have said to you guys also is that we have the Sun and the moon so people each and every person is going to be affected if you are a Sun sign person so if you were born 12 uh, 5 o'clock in the morning until 5 o'clock in the morning I have to draw this for you guys so it's all about when the Sun is set okay so if you were born when the Sun is set so as we go back around the clock so we have 24 hours in a day so 6 p.m. changes the time 6 6 6 p.m. changes the time so 6 p.m. in the evening begins the um, after 6 p.m. in the evening it begins the moon so from um, um, 5 a.m. in the morning until 6 p.m. in the evening you are a sun sign if your moon sign is um, after um, ooh, <laughs> says Usa um, in the evening okay so it's gonna affect all of you so that's why there's double duality some of you are going to be having the help from an Aries ladies and some of you are going to be having the help from as such Darius ladies okay so the Sun sign people are going to be having the energies of the Aries and the Sagittarian um, the ones who are affected by the Sagittarians is going to